alert about music. Because it's actually it's 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 a very brave thing to do. I think obviously not yeah. for you because you're yeah. you're obviously in this environment where it's like. Oh, Anton, he's gay, you know, within the yeah, family yeah. and blah, 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 and all your friends are fine. But actually, to do it professionally... Yeah. It is another thing. Like, I'm not in the top league, even though, but, like, I, I still think that you should just be yourself. I mean, it shouldn't really matter. And that's how I felt when I did this as well. Like, it could be harder for other ones. It will be. Everyone does, you know, think differently. So it is a brave thing to do. But for me, I, I feel so secure with myself that I didn't really care about anything. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? Who cares? Because <laughs> you actually, you, I've, I've heard you say on a piece of film footage uh, that you're actually picked on a kid. Yeah, yeah. I was not an angel gay. myself when I was younger, and I still regret it today. But I said I'm sorry to him, and, you know, we, we worked it out. Now that he knows that I'm gay, he's like, ah, oh, it's okay. And so why did you why did you pick on him? Because I was, you know, immature. I was young, and that's the, I felt the same. I have an uncle that's gay, too. I was like that to him as well. I was like really anti-gay. I was like, well, I don't know anything about this. And that's why I've learned like about this homophobia and everything like that. So I know how it is and it's just horrible how, how you even can say things to people and stuff like that. So I really know how it is. Because I think it's also, it sounds like you were bowing to peer pressure from the other kids around you yeah. as well. Well, I mean, it's it's really horrible, but we didn't go that far. But but yeah, you shouldn't. It's just really a sad story. How can you do like that kind of stuff? But then I realized, like, what am I doing? I'm gay myself. I should be ashamed of myself. Yeah. But I've learned, and that's like how I dealt with it. So, so have you ever taken anybody home? No. No. I haven't found anyone yet. So you're young, free, and single. Yes, I am. Okay. Is that bad? No, I should think I should think that's very good. I should think there's probably a lot of people out there who would, a lot of guys out there who probably offer them. Well, you up. have to be careful at the same time. There's going to be a lot of users out there. You know, you have yeah. to be careful and you know be safe. Absolutely, and I just wanted to also talk about you're apparently a great fan of Gaydar Radio. I am. I I've been listening to it a lot. The music is amazing. Like I even have a, a couple of straight friends that I introduced the station to. And they're like, this is so good. And I was like, yeah, I know it is. And they had it on pre-parties and everything. Oh, wow. I was like, I got straight boys listening to Gator. <laughs> That's a funny story, though. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, so, and you haven't taken anybody home yet? Uh, no. No? I haven't really met anyone I like. It's hard out there. It's really hard. You know, I'm more for, you know, this sporty, you know. It's not so much that everyone has to be like sports interested but it's it's kind of and i'm a little bit picky too you know yeah yeah so what's your type that's a hard one <laughs> that is a hard one no but you know like i like fit guys yeah, you yeah. know sports interested but it's it's not all about the looks it has to have a good personality you know humor is really important you know you can't just be out with a dry person can you no, this is, <laughs> this is true i've i've actually you know because i'm not a looker so i i have to rely a lot of my being funny. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not that funny. So, but... Uh, but well, you are. <laughs> Thank you very much. But, <laughs> but yeah, that, that humour thing is really important. Yeah, think. personality is a lot, but I do I do really want, you know, a fit guy that knows about training and sports. Like, so he will understand what I'm, what I'm doing in my life and yeah, where I'm course. from. So, And it's such a, it's a, it's such a massive part of your life. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, I mean, it's not, it's not like... Everything has to be about sports. You nearly but it, went into an English accent. Oh, I did, did I? <laughs> <laughs> it's like really weird when you're here because it's like you get a little bit of British, you get this and that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so this person needs to be... It doesn't... It sounds like I have, like, these needs, but... Well, no, I, I'd I think like it's... I'd like it. I'd like it. Yeah. Let's put it that way. Yeah, well, my brother, he has a blog, and he just... Um, the day after I came out... He said, because he's obviously playing in the top league in Sweden, and he has a lot of followers because he's doing really, really well, and he's in the national team and everything like that. He wrote on his blog that I'm so proud of my brother. This is so great. Um, I wish like that we had one in my team that would be gay, so I could show appreciation to him as well. Like he wow. was like really positive Ooh. about it. Like I would never care if somebody in my team was gay. We're just here. We're playing, and we're you know we're just here to win titles, and we don't care about what you do in your life. That's unbelievable. I know it's just a really nice and thing. and and also quite a, 
you know, all these things are risks, aren't they? Yeah, you know, yeah, is yeah. there going to be any comeback for your brother? And he just, he's like, I don't care. Yeah, I know. He's like the same as me. Like, who cares? I'm playing football. I'm doing great. Who cares? Passionate about music.